welcome back to Lisa's Paper. Good news, I got out of the cast today, so I'm in this and I have my thumb back, which is super exciting, but it's a little sensitive and tender, so while we have progress, we're not all the way to the point where I can actually craft yet. But that being said, I thought it would be the perfect day to do these um, haul videos, I guess, if you will, um, because I've missed crafting and I think this is a good way to get excited about all these new things so that when I can soon, hopefully, um, start crafting again, um, I'll be ready and raring to go to dig into all these new goodies. So I actually have three boxes. I have a scrapbook.com order here. This one's from a cherry on top. Um, and then this is a, a new order that I just got from Alta New. Um, so we'll, we'll dive into those. Um, I hope you enjoy a haul video. I will probably cut out a lot of the slow <laughs> opening of things. So apologies if there are lots of cuts in this video, but bear with me. Um, so I guess we'll just, uh, start from the top here and I will move everything out of the way, except for what we're working on. Okay. First is this Alta New order. And isn't this package beautiful. I saw it in the mailbox and I was like, ah, and I want to keep it and do something with it. I have no idea what I would do with it, but I really want to keep it. If you have ideas, let me know. Um, cause I might just hoard this in the hopes that something will pop up. Um, so this is a new one. I, uh, ordered this after the injury, um, because I saw that Amy Tan had come out with some stuff with Alta New, um, and I just had to get some of it. So let's dig in. Okay, we can start with the little things. First, I have their little snow dot stamp and I love it. And I saw that they have these, this one with hearts on it. You can see it's pretty tiny. It's smaller than the size of a credit card. And this one has stars because one can never have too many tiny hearts and stars, right Adele? <laughs> okay. Oh, and I got this set of journaling cards. I was very excited because I, I am a sucker for anything that looks painty like this. So let's dig into them and open them up so you can see. I did not realize that they all have this gray border around them. Hmm, I might cut them. We'll see. They're single-sided. I love that one. I mean, I love all of them, but <laughs> that one's my colors. And you can tell that they were punched from a sheet, so. But that's easy enough to, to trim up, um, clean up. Beautiful set. This is great for when I feel like having mixed media in my project life, but I don't feel like getting all the stuff out, waiting for things to dry. Happy with that. I think it was a pretty inexpensive set. Um, okay, what's next? This is what I bought. Now, I did not buy any of the inks that she did, and I did not buy um, a lot of her stuff, but I am a sucker for a mixed media looking stamp. So this one's called a Fresh Start Sentiment Stamp Set, and I just loved, for art journaling, all these like mark making, the splats. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I believe it comes with a die set too. You can get it in a bundle with a die if you want it. Um, yeah, a coordinating die set is available. But super excited about that. This set is really neat. It's called Invisible Numbers because when you stamp it, it just stamps the shadow. And they had some really pretty examples on their site and I thought it was really interesting. I try not to buy too many stamps that are very similar and I already have some uh, serif fonts like this, but I didn't have one like this with the shadows and I thought that was really neat and subtle. Um, see, I don't know if you can see how it looks. Isn't that neat? I love it. Okay. This was a bundle from one of their decor sets. I don't usually like this flare, the wooden flare. It sticks up a whole lot, so I might yank the foam tape off of the back of these, but I mostly bought it because I love these origami-looking animals, the butterflies and everything. 
I love a good wood veneer and these are just so pretty. They're very delicate. I'm surprised they didn't get broken. You can see the, the beaks on the little hummingbirds and stuff, but they're all in one piece. But I also did like the designs on these sets. I love the colors. It's more of that tealy. These were things I actually thought I would use, so I'm excited about those. Oh, this is a stencil. I love a good stencil. This is called the Sketched Lines Stencil. It's six by six, and you can see, um, sorry for the glare. I just love anything, again, that looks sketchy. It's not too perfect, and I thought this would be great for art journaling. Um, see how pretty that pattern is. I love that. I always... Do you do this? I always forget what I buy. So every time I open it up, it's like, oh, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, so join me while I figure out. I'm like, I have no idea what this is. Oh, yes. This is a pretty set. I, again, here's these watercolor dots. I thought it'd be great for, you know, like backgrounds and art journaling. Yeah, it's called watercolor dots. Um, and then it also has these kind of doodly sketchy bits down here that I really, really like. XOXO is always a great sentiment. Hello. Um, so that's what they did here. They actually took the dots and then put those, these little things on top of them. I like that idea. That's one thing I really like about Alta New is that they're very good at giving you lots of examples and ideas and information. If you go on their website, usually on the product page, there are tons of pictures of projects done with by their design team with these things. And so it's just a treasure trove of inspiration. Because I'm very guilty about getting things like this and then, you know, then the, I'm like, then what? Now what? <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. It's pretty and it just sits there. But when I have ideas like that, it kind of jump starts me. So I do appreciate that about them. And then this, I don't remember what it is. Ah, ink. I'm always on my quest for a new pure white dot spray. So I figured I'd try this one. I don't think it was too expensive. So... I'll let you know how that works out, but that's all my Alta New stuff. Some stamp, stamps and stencils mostly, some journaling cards. Okay, this next one, this is my order from a cherry on top. Now this one is probably full of new stuff that you guys have already seen, all the new collections. So when the new like Vicki Booten's Where To Next and Maggie Holmes is, what is, I don't remember what the newest one is called garden party I'm not sure um when all those came out I ordered from a cherry on top but as we all know a lot of the stuff took a long time getting here um and I'm I'm no stranger to that and the job I did before I quit we dealt a lot with you know manufacturing plants in China and stuff and so I know that things get way behind and shipping them across the ocean, yada, yada, yada. But I waited a very long time for this because a cherry on top, their policy is to hold your entire order if there is something in there that they don't have yet. Um, so there were like one or two things that just took forever to get here. Not their fault, um, but it's here now. So all of that to say, you guys have probably already seen all of this um, because these collections have been out for a hot minute now. But I'm super excited because I don't remember what I ordered because it was so long ago. So let's start with this. I am super excited about this. So I have some of the Tim Holtz, what does he call them? Cool. Sorry guys. Please hold. Okay, so I'm super excited about this. I already have a lot of the Tim Holtz, ooh, back in frame, the Tim Holtz collage papers. I have the ones with the numbers and the florals and all that stuff the black and white ones and I absolutely love them and when I saw that he had come out with this with the swatches on it I was in love because I can't tell you how many rub-ons I've bought from like 49 and market and also washi tapes and things like that that I bought and I hoard because they look like swatches like this I just love this motif and I was super duper excited to see um Tim Holtz come out with this so let's see if I can open it for you. Look how pretty that is. And there's the repeat. So you get about, I don't know, eight inches before a repeat. Um, I love it. Love it. Cannot wait to use it. That would be beautiful. Okay. These are the Terrace thickers. And look 
how beautiful they are. They are this very light, light wood. I don't know if you can see on that F is bent. This very light wood pattern, but on the side, the foam is this gorgeous, like turquoisey, tealy, beautiful color. So of course I got two sets of that. Oh, that's too bad. I got it torn off a little bit there. Oh well. So again, that's the Terrace letters. I'm not sure which collection those are with. And then these are Blooming from Paige, her newest collection, Paige Evans. I don't usually like multicolored thickers because I find I get very annoyed with trying to spell a word and make sure that either they're all in the same color family or that they're the colors are evenly spaced out so it's not like green, 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 yellow, blue. <laughs> I don't like that. But these were just too beautiful. I love the, the faux stitching on them. I love the color blocking. I love the colors. So, But that's why I only got one set because I figured if I got multiple, then it would be too difficult to use up. So this is doable. I'm excited about these. Um, especially because in the Crop and Create, I got some of, like, I have these already. I did not know when I ordered these from a cherry on top that I would get them in the Crop and Create. But now I have more. But I love these. I love these sets with a lot of words on them. I find that they're great for building titles. And of course, it has a lot of hearts and florals, which will be easy, easy, easy peasy to use. Um, you'll recognize this blossom. The awesome blossom was, I used those for a layout recently with Layla with that flower on her head. Um, but I like these. I also have to say that I really like these kinds of puffy stickers. I find that they're easy to deal with um, on a page and I can bend them and stuff like that pretty. This is from Maggie Holmes. It's, this is called Dream Chaser. Sometimes I buy her thicker, sometimes I don't. Um, I have to really look closely at the set and see if I think that there are th mostly things that I will use in there. Um, and I did here. There's a lot of florals, hearts, little sentiments that I could use with just about anything. A lot. Sometimes she'll have a lot of bows. I, I really struggle to use bows um, and things like that, but not see there's some bows <laughs> but aside from the bows like the numbers I can totally use the frames the florals the words everything else aside from those like three pieces so for me this was a very usable set and I'm excited about it so pretty okay now these are both Vicki Booten I always almost always 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 get her thicker sets this one's called travel notes um, because I really, I like her arrows. I love how she crams as much in the little spaces as possible, all the little hearts and arrows and words and big words. I love to use her big black word, handwritten words and titles. I'm super excited about that. Um, it is a travel collection, but I feel like so much of this can go non-travel that it is very versatile. So I'm very excited about that. I love these hearts. Love them. I would just love a whole pack of hearts like this. <laughs> How about you? Would you? I would use that so quickly. <sighs> okay. And then I did get a set of thickers. I don't know if I've spoken about it before, but I really dislike, not thickers, sorry, chipboard. These are chipboard thickers, I believe. They're called Happy Life. Um, I very, very rarely get chipboard. Uh, I don't like the way it feels on the page. I like now that the companies have been going with a thinner chipboard. That helps a whole lot. It's much more like a, a normal thicker to me in that sense. Um, and I, I don't like the super thick ones. I also don't like that the adhesive is very dodgy and I can't trust it. But this set was just so pretty. I loved this. I think this is probably what sold me on it. If you can't tell, I love phrase stickers, big words, title things. Um, I love her little stars, her little dots. I love this. I can see using that on a school layout or on one with the kids. Um, I, I just, sometimes hers can be a little difficult. Like she's like her mm, candy, candy crush. That one was a little tricky for me because she had so much of like the sweet stuff, the candy, the ice cream. She had a lot of birds and stuff like that. But this one I felt like had a lot more of these kinds of pieces 
these kinds of pieces, you know, much more usable. There's a bike. When am I going to get, when, when am I going to use this? <laughs> it's okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. But the rest of it is beautiful. And I'll just pretend that that car is not there. There we go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. So we also have the six by eight paper pads. I love Love the trend that companies, instead of doing the six by six pads, have done the six by eight pads. I find that that makes it much more versatile for me. I can use them on big scrapbook layouts. I can use them in little uh, mini albums. I can use them in Project Life because I can cut. This is two four by sixes. So this is really super useful. Whereas like before I would cut, sorry if that banged the camera. <laughs> it's very emphatic. Um, I would cut, you know, the six by six, you would cut a six by four, and then you'd have this two inch strip and it was a lot more awkward to use, but these are a lot more useful. So let's see if I can open this and show you before I break it up. Cause I usually do break up my six by eight paper pads like I do my paper. Like everything else, I s s use it by color. Um, and so having it in pads like this just makes it take a lot longer for me to use it. Okay, let's see what else we have in this pile. I think the puffy stickers were some of the things that took the longest for whatever reason. So I got two sets because hearts and stars and dots. I mean, how would I not like blow through those? And there are two, I don't know if you can see, there you go, two sheets in here. So I got four sheets. Um, because I knew I would use these. I knew I would want a ton of those stars down here. Beautiful, cannot wait to use. Okay. Those, and then also, oh, Woodland Grove. That's the name of the collection. The Maggie Holmes, the new one. Also hearts, puffy hearts. I'm a sucker for a good heart embellishment. Double-sided, I like this side. Reminds me, there's a Jen Hadfield set, I believe, that was similar. And I loved those. I'm going to try not to hoard these. <laughs> um, the Woodland Grove florals. Very pretty. They have some acetate. Ooh, sorry. Some acetate pieces and some gold pieces in there. I like a good floral. And Maggie does a very pretty floral. And her sets always have very usable pieces. Just mass them on a page and they look gorgeous. Um, this was one of the few pieces I got from Heidi Swap's newest collection. I usually like her stuff, but I'm not very big into the nautical stuff, and that's what this collection was. But since this is like journaling ephemera and tags and stuff, it's super useful. I'll flip it over and show you the back. Yep. See how pretty, and those colors will go with just about anything. So those are things I can use anywhere with the exception of this sailboat here. <laughs> I don't do a lot of sailing, but that's okay. You can use it, you know, stick it behind something and use the top of that beautiful blue or like angled behind a photo or something. Pretty. And then here's, I almost always get Vicky's sticker book as well. I'll flip through these real quick. There are more of those stars and hearts. I love them. I always love her clips too. I love to use them. Oh, look at all these pretty sentiments. Love it. Oh, this one I might have a hard time with. Food truck, food. I do have a recipe book that I often put all my food stickers with so that when I put recipes in it, it's like a happy planner kind of recipe book. I can decorate with these stickers. I do like the office supplies though. Love them in <laughs> the little tote bag. Oh, these are pretty black with gold. I don't know if you can see the gold foil. Yeah, so pretty. And I love that she always includes some tiny words in white and in black, much, very useful. And these, and then the last page. Oh, more. Oh, that's pretty. Those are borders. These three are all single strips, and I don't know if you can see that punched out. Oh, love it. Love this collection. Beautiful. So I'll flip through these, show you both sides, and like always, I tend to leave my favorite paper 
face up so that when I put them in my stash over there, um, I don't have to remember why I got it. <laughs> and I can just easily slip it in with the right color. Um, this one, of course, it's butterflies and rainbow. How beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And Adele, I'm sorry if you're watching this and all of my butterfly love. <laughs> just divert your eyes. Oh, this side's pretty too. Oh, what a pretty B side. Oh. That's a tough one. Ooh, I don't know if you can see, but it even has a little bit of a grid. I love that. I love that trend of bringing in just a teeny bit of grid in there and it kind of like grits it up just a little bit. Oh, that's tough. That's a tie, man. I loved this one. I got it because I thought it'd be super cute in like a kid's uh, school book. I do want to do both of the kids. I want to make them like a school year's book uh, album. So this will go with that stuff um, for that time. And sorry, this is, I did not tell you, this is the Gingham Garden. It's called A Light. Um, this one is from Paige Evans, her Blooming Wild. It's uh, paper number eight. And here's the back of it. Also a pretty side, B side, but I remember I got it for this side. Ooh, Jen Hadfield. This was not a collection that really spoke to me. It was very, very retro, and I don't usually like a lot of those colors, but I loved this paper. This is from Flower Child, it's called Grandma's Wallpaper. Um, and, oh, 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 this side. This is the side I got it for. But you see, I got multiple and I did that on purpose. Plus, I also believe that I got at least one of these. I have the Mercy, T Mercy Tiara kit, and I know that she included some Jed Hadfield papers in there, and I'm pretty sure that she included this one as well. So let's see, I got one, two, three. Normally when I do that, it's because I have two of this one that I adore and then one of this one that I also like. So I'll put those over here. Okay, so this is also from the Jen Hadfield Flower Child Collection. It's called Orange You Happy. It's got this pretty orange print, which I can go ahead and tell you this is not why I bought it. So let's see why I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this blue. I love this blue. It kind of makes your eyes go a little funny. This is like sometimes when I buy shirts, I love stripy shirts. And when I buy them, I have to hold them up to my husband and say, is this one okay? And he'll tell me, he's like, no, that one makes my eyes go funny. <laughs> and that one does that to me a little bit. But I think once you like put stuff on top of it, like make it lay out. Sorry, I'm banging on the table again. I'm very emphatic today. <laughs> um, but once you tone it down a little bit and cover up some of that, then that'll go away. I really like this. Okay, here's some Vibu. This one's from Where To Next. It's called Passage, and this is a very pretty map. It's a little vintage-y for my taste. Let's see what. Oh, I love this page. I do. I love a good ledger. Love it. So I got two of those. I believe I got two, so I could have one of each side. Because normally I would get two of the ledger, but I will say that when it has this kind of detail on it, then I can't see myself using it more than once because it's so distinctive. So, oh, and here's that paper. I love this paper. This is from Where To Next. It's called Love It Here. I just adore this so much. And here's the B side. A very, very pretty stripe, but I much prefer the hearts. Another, oh, these, I love these stars. I love these stars. This one's called Under the Stars. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that side's pretty too. So as you can see, I got multiple again. I got one of each, so I did that on purpose. So I could have one for this side and one for this side. And this one, a lot of these we saw small in the six by eight. This one is called Chronicle. And I just thought that was pretty for one of those quick, easy layouts where you don't have to do much and you can just like tuck your photo in and put a couple, put a title, maybe some journaling, a couple of embellishments, bam, done. Beautiful. Let's see, oh, I got two of these. So what's on the other side? Oh, uh, that pretty yellow. I do love that. So we'll keep one of the yellow, one of this, and the butterflies. Gosh, look how pretty. This one's called my favorite, <laughs> and it is. I love these. I love them so much. 
Okay, and there's that pretty blue. I believe that I got two of these so that I could use one as a background and fussy cut the other because the, I love it when they do that with the collections where they leave space between them so you can fussy cut them. I will not be doing that anytime soon, <laughs> but when I can, I have a pile of papers that I want to fussy cut like this and I just kind of keep them all together. And when I'm sitting on the couch in the evening, sometimes I will take a pair of scissors to them while I'm watching something. So I'm gonna put that off to the side so I don't forget. Um, there's this one, it's called Where To Next 4x6. So this has the 4x6 journaling cards, which I really like this one. Um, let's see what's on the other side. Oh, that's why I got it. <laughs> Me and my B-sides, I love you. I can't, I can't do a heart, pretend I'm making a heart. <laughs> it's, I know it's so basic, but I really like basic for a background because then it really makes everything else sing and you can just go wild. You could put anything on this and it would just and be beautiful love it okay i love tickets too oh my gosh that collection that maggie holmes came out with her travel one that had so many tickets recently love love loved it i have so many tickets now <laughs> see i even have some on the side of my desk from that collection let's see Ooh. there you go <laughs> anyway so here's this paper and it's called one-way ticket and it is a bunch of beautiful tickets. I will put this with my travel stuff probably. On the other side, oh, this pretty one. See, this is why I have two of them. Now, I will say, you guys haven't seen my craft room or my organization, but I have my basic papers stored over here. And then I do take out things that are very themey, like all my travel stuff, and I have them categorized in a place over there so that like when I'm working on a travel something, I just pull out all my travel stuff and it's all together. Um, so I will probably put, oh, I got three of them, yes. So one for a background, I bet one was for fussy cutting. <laughs> and then this one for my basics. Okay. And then this paper is from that Heidi Swap Set Sale collection. It's called Stripes Gray, and it is just a beautiful basic stripe. If I only got one of these, that is a tragedy because I find that gray is something I love to work with, and it is very difficult to find um, in a lot of scrapbooking things. So I might have to get more of this because I really like this. Let's see the other side. Yeah, it's got this pretty sailboat, the navy, but I know this is the side I will use. I need more of that. Okay. Here is from the Gingham Garden Collection, the crepe paper one. This one's called In the Shade, and it has this beautiful painty stripe. I love a painty stripe, very much so. And then the other side is this pretty floral, but I'm sure that I got it for this, which is why I have two of them. Okay, so that's it for that order and then last but not least i have my scrapbook.com since we just did paper let's continue doing paper let's see what i got in this order this is from that new collection i think from 49 and market they came out with that beautiful sherbert collection i think last year and this one is very similar and i fell in love with that collection oh spectrum gardenia is what this one is called I love their Spectrum collections. This one's called Classics Euphoria. And that's just beautiful. So I got two of them, so I could have one for each side. Here's another one from that collection. This beautiful rainbow with some texture in it. They do texture mixed media look so well. And here's this side. I do like this side. And this one's called Menagerie Medley. But I think that I got it for this side, the rainbow. Now, this one I got for my baby albums that I want to do as well. It's got this cute elf, um, elephant. It's from the Little Explorer Collection by Echo Park. But I know I got it for this side. So pretty. I'm putting it over here because it's for the baby collection. Um... I thought this was such a pretty pattern. It would make really fun four by six cards. And it's from the same collection. Let's see what this one's called. Oh, the last one, sorry. I don't think I told you the title. The last one is called Exploring Elephants. This one is called Walk on the Wild Side. 
And I definitely got it for this paper. And I liked this one too. I really like this adventure. I do have some zoo pictures, so I might keep this for those. So pretty. I like the colors in it. I really like this. Yeah, this one's called the multi-journaling cards and I'm pretty sure that I got it for this side for these bits and pieces that I could cut out and use. Okay, so this one is from the new Vibu Winter collection, I believe. See, it says Winter Magic across the top. I like that she does that with her manufacturing strips so you can even use these pieces. Um, love a good ledger. I'll put this with my Christmas stuff. Yes, this is from her Peppermint Kisses collection. It's called Winter Magic. And then there's that scene here. I love the top of this. This is the side I picked for. <laughs> okay, more of that Spectrum collection or one of her one of them. So it's got orangey on this side with, I love the black and white details. But this is why I got it. I love this rainbow and I love these black and white bits here. This is also from Spectrum Gardenia. It's called Painted Foundations Brush Strokes. So pretty. This is a Pink Fresh Studio one. They do stripes so well, so well. This is from their new collection too, I believe. Um, called Sunshine on My Mind, and this one's called Poolside. And I got this one because I really, really liked both sides, so that's why I got two of them. I love this yellow stripe, and I actually really like these giant words. I can just see an entire pool layout with a big photo on it, maybe a little bit of um, mixed media in the background to make it look like splashy. This is beautiful. I love the texture in the letters. It's just so fun. Okay, I believe this is another one from that Spectrum Gardenia. I love a good black and white stripe. I, whenever I show you my paper collection, you'll see I have plenty of them. <laughs> Again, from Spectrum Gardenia Painted Foundations Color Wheel. I love this one. I believe I got many of this one. Let's see, yep. So, <laughs> one, two, three. So I, I think I got one for this one since it is one, one and done for me. I would not use that multiple times. Um, and then three of these because I will use these many times. Um, this beautiful blue. I love this side. I like this side even better with a little bit of black and white. This is from their Color Swatch Ocean um, collection. It's called Ocean Paper 4. I just like this blue, this light blue. I find that light blues can be hard to find. A lot of it's these greeny blues instead, which I, I also love. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> and I think this is from that same collection. Yeah. From, yeah, Color Swatch Ocean. This one's Ocean Paper 2. I don't love the florals. This is definitely the side that has my heart. And then there's that. So we're done with the papers. We are almost done, guys. You are troopers. I hope you're enjoying going through all this with me. Okay. So let's do the easy things first, even though they're on the bottom. Again, I told you I'm a sucker for a paint swatch, such a sucker. Um, I was very interested because this is fabric tape. I know that there's stuff, I can't do it right now, but I don't know if you can see, it's got this perf. And I believe that's so you can just leave it in here and pull it out and rip it off that way. Um, but for now, I will just show it to you. Oh yeah, see there's the cutter. It comes with this cutter that you're meant to struggle, 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 buzz. So you're meant to like slide that on top of here and then you can just slide this little piece along and it cuts it for you. So it's really neat, the packaging. Um, these tend to be a little more pricey, but now you know why. Um, look how pretty that is. Look how pretty, and you get so much of it too. Let me pull it off. It really is fabric. It's like, I don't know if you can see the texture. It is beautiful. I wonder if it frays. That would be really a cool texture in art journals if it did. But I mean, it does have an adhesive back, so it might not fray because of that. Huh. 
I can't <laughs> try to show you the repeat. Look how far that goes. Whoop. That's almost a foot of repeat before it repeats. Love it. So glad I got that. And then I got, these are washies from them. They also, same kind of box style where you can pop it out and leave everything in here. There's this very wide washi with butterflies. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. See, it's got butterflies and paint, painty goodness. I'm not gonna pull it all the way off because not comfortable. Okay. Another paint swatch, swatch washi because I can never have too many of those. It helps me to have more of them because then I don't feel like hoarding them. <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't hoard them, but it helps a little bit. Um, and then here's a thinner one with butterflies. It's very much like the other one. And then the last one is a stripe. It's like a rainbow stripe. I'm gonna have to pull this one off so you guys can see. Cause you can see through it when it's on the roll. But see, it has this like rainbow all the way down. Look at that. So pretty. It's all my favorite things. Rainbows and stripes. Painty goodness. How could I not? That's those. And then this one I got. What is this? Butterfly washi tape stickers. So I'm assuming these are like those washi flakes. Oh, and it looks like it has labels and things. Let's see. Please hold. Okay, well, I'm going to have to show this to you when I am, you know, a little more flexible with my hands because I tried to take this I think this piece right here is on here to keep it from opening because I don't believe the back of it is adhesive it's like a, a sticker sheet on a roll basically but a washi sticker sheet on a roll and you can see that I tried to pull it off and I ended up ripping that butterfly but see you can see this the shiny shiny there finally <laughs> the one time I want shiny and it doesn't show up the shiny sticker paper here and it's like a washi sticker on top but see you get all these butterflies you get this thing that says love this some of those clips that I love some words I'm excited about this it's a lot you get a lot on here <laughs> cool 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 um I like to have neutral things and I don't have a good white ink so I decided to try this one from Concord and Knight. It's a pigment ink, um, a slow drying pigment ink for colored card stock. Give me a minute and I'll see if I can find some colored card stock for us to stamp this on and see how well it does. So I got some black card stock. I got one of my new Amy Tan stamps. And let's see how this does. I did try and condition it on my arm a little bit. Um, but it is a brand new stamp, so do keep that in mind. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, actually. Let me off stamp it. I want to see how that does. Even the off stamps are not bad. But, let's see. I mean, you can see through it for sure to the black, but that's a lot more vivid than I expected it to be. And I bet if I did it with the stamp again, let's see, it says it's slow drying. Yeah, it smears just a little bit, but let me try it again. Load it up again and see if it stamps any more opaquely on this now. Eh, just about the same. Clean off the stamp because I'm lazy. But yeah, see, there it is again. I'm pretty happy with that. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Okay, now, last bit of goodies and then we're done. This first thing is super easy. I had gotten some gold enamel dots around holiday season last year and I find myself hoarding them because I love them. 
Um, and so I jumped as soon as I saw more to get more. This is from the Garden Bouquet Collection, um, the matte gold enamel dots from Pink Fresh Studio. And I love them. They make me happy. Enough said. So I got these. This is from the 49 and Market Color Swatch Ocean Collection. These are the acetate leaves. Um, I have a couple of these. I just think they're great for art journaling. Um, and I love them. I love the texture they add. Love that they include butterflies. So you get two each of these designs. Pretty. Um, these are the rub-ons from that collection, the Color Swatch Ocean. And I love their rub-ons. They're such great quality. And I love that you get six sheets. This has butterflies, florals, leaves. These are my favorite. Ooh, sorry. In the whole set. This page right here. I like the borders too, but these the, these two right here are my favorites. Um, and then you have some words and frames and stuff. So, I like those borders. <laughs> okay. Some more rub-ons. This is from the Gardenia, Spectrum Gardenia. Um, this is the extras one. I think that there's another set. But this one has words. I have stitchy lines. I think I got it for the stitchy lines. And, of course, <laughs> that. And I love both of these as well. They're great for adding texture. Sorry for the glare. Sorry. There you go. Um, some circle ledger stickers for journaling. I'll put it with my Project Life stuff. Oh, those are greener than I expected them to be. I expected them to be more of this color, but they're greener. Huh. Interesting. But these are pretty inexpensive. And I like having labels for Project Life. And these are also from Studio Calico. Nice little stickers. I think they're fall themed because it's got warm and cozy, crisp air, let's snuggle, sweater weather. But I liked them. Um, here's some of the other ones for you. I just like how they're black and white. Add a nice little pop to a page. This one. Oh, oh my God, these. I love. I this might have caused me to buy everything else and I filled up my cart because I wanted this. <laughs> I love this. So Studio Calico came out with a collection and I believe that they had acetate numbers in this style. Let me find them. I know I have some. See, here they are. And I, again, have been hoarding them because I love them and they are so pretty. And so when I saw that I could make my own now, I jumped at it. It was one of those, I don't care how much it costs, give it to me, give it to me now kind of thing. So they're, they're fairly large. They're, uh, here's the size of my palm, um, a couple inches, but I love these and I'm super excited. I don't know that it has an outline number stamp. This is the six by eight outline number stamp. Um, had these pretty butterflies. I feel like one can never have too many butterflies. Oh, these are, from Stampers Anonymous, the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous. Um, and I just, I liked them. I felt like they would be super pretty to stamp and then like color in with watercolor um, or as like a background texture because the lines are so delicate. I thought that they'd be pretty versatile. Um, I very rarely get stamps that are not the clear see-through kind, um, but I couldn't turn these down. It's called Floral Trims right there. And last but not least, we have one more 49 to market. This is the Ocean Collage Sheets. I've never gotten their collage sheets before, so let's open it up and see. You get a whole bunch in there. I don't often get them because they tend to lean vintagey, And as you guys know, vintage is not my jam. I want to see what kind of weight they are. I like this envelope they come in. It's very nice. Okay. Oh, it's very, it's great. It's good weight for collaging. I would say it's like a very thin printer paper kind of single-sided. I won't go through all of them, but you know, I think that this, well, it does, it, I mean, clearly that's vintage -y, but I like the crisp white. It doesn't have the cream. Um, the cream is very often what throws me off. I'm not a huge fan of cream, so. Anyway, that was my gigantic haul. 
Um, I've been talking for an hour now. I will cut it down though because a lot of that hour was me struggling with stuff and hopefully you will not see that. Um, but thanks for joining me. Let me know what your favorite things were. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to jump back in here soon and start doing some things rather than just, you know, showing you things and talking to you about things. But I hope you have a wonderful week and enjoy some scrappy time and see you again soon.